let me also lend my voice to this very urgent matter of public importance. I want to highlight a couple of areas that we also, as representatives of Nigerians, about issues in the aviation sector. Apart from the issue with the local airlines suspending operations, there's the attendant issue of their employees in those airlines that have been asked to go on indefinite leave. Thousands of Nigerians are facing unemployment in There's also the issue of concessioning. We are aware that the Ministry of Aviation has initiated another process of concessioning of Nigeria's airports. This is after the initial process was fraught with a lot of controversy over the concession fees and to even meet the obligations in that regard. We are also saddled with the issue of corruption allegations against airlines with regards to their internal operations, which I think this honorable house cannot ignore. And with regards to the economic recession we're facing, to the economic recovery we are looking at pursuing as a nation. 90% of the air traffic in Nigeria is handled by international airlines. As we speak, there's an increasing number of them continually terminating operations in Nigeria and this is development. So, Mr. Speaker, I would like for us as a House to have a more holistic approach and a forensic public investigation into this issue and would like to make an amendment to include a couple more prayers into what I believe the the suspension of flight operations by local airlines, termination of flight operations by international airlines, allegations of corruption against airline operators, previous and current airport concession process and fees, the fate of Nigerians employed with these airline operators and the effect of prevailing industry issues on Nigeria's economy. The committee needs to look at publicly with proffering of solutions in this regard. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Again, I'm Mark Bila, representing Gwe East, Gwe West from Benue State. In the light of the need for a more holistic look at this issue, I'm proposing that the Committee on Aviation be mandated to organize a comprehensive public hearing to investigate the issues behind the suspension of operations by local airlines, the, term, the increasing termination of operations by international airlines, operators, previous and current airport concession process and fees, the fate of Nigerians employed with these airline operators, the effect of prevailing industry issues on Nigeria's economy, silence, and please, all members. other issues silence, in the sector, please. and to profile solutions and, and return to propose. Any representing the good people of Nkano East and Nkano West Federal Constituency, I rise to second the amendment as proposed by my colleague Mark Miller. I so second. Those in favor of the motion as amended say aye. Those against it say nay. The ayes have it.